You don't realize until you go to Costco that it's really not the large size. Like these are the large sizes. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing a little bit of a different video. It's gonna be a vlog style video. I am going shopping, well food shopping. Um, I'm going to Costco and I think like a, a local food store which is like probably the boring part of the video. But I wanted to bring you guys with me because I had asked on my IGTV or sorry, my Instagram stories a while ago about if you guys wanted to see um, some of the items that I buy from Costco as a single person. Like I don't have a family, I'm not married, I don't have a family to buy stuff for. But obviously Costco stuff is in bulk but the fun fact is I did work at Costco for four years um, my dad actually worked here for over 15 so I am completely familiar with Costco products um, like I know the time of the year like I can go to Costco and get certain things so I definitely have like an inside scoop people were really interested in this because people always ask me what like what should I buy from Costco so I think this video will be kind of cool um, to get my perspective perspective on things i'm not really sure what the format of the video will be but i wanted to do this intro in the car outside the building like literally in real time not sure like i said how i will format the video but i think it'll be really interesting to see what i as a former costco employee think are some really great buys at the store so without further delay let's go shopping see you guys in a few Hey guys, so I just got back from my Costco shopping trip and I got some really good content. I picked up some items, but it's not everything that I wanted to show you guys. Like I said, I'm not really sure what the format of this video is going to be. I did just get a new fridge, so I stopped at Home Goods and got some refrigerator organizing things. Um, so I do want to reorganize the fridge, but I'm just trying to figure out whether I'm going to split this video into two different videos or if I'm just going to use it as one video not really sure but um i guess you guys will see in a minute what i do decide to do um yeah so let me just unpack everything and show you guys exactly what i got from costco today Okay guys, so as you can see, I unpacked all the items. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the items that I actually purchased and then after that we'll do a little bit of a, like a sit down version of this segment of the video to explain to you. I'm gonna insert photos of the items that I did not pick up or with the items that I feel like anybody could purchase at Costco, whether you have a large family or whether you're one person or two people. Definitely items that will last you a long time and are definitely worth having a Costco membership. I guess I should explain to you guys how the memberships work. So there is a regular, I don't know if it's still called Gold Star membership, but it's the base level membership. It costs $50 for the year. Um, with that membership, you just pay, obviously, to get in, and that's pretty much it. Or it may be up to like $60 now, but I mean, 50, 60, same thing. So um, the membership that's a little bit elevated is the black card. I don't even know if it's called a black card anymore, but it is the black 2% executive, that's what it's called, it's the executive membership. The executive membership I believe is $120, but it does get you, or it's 110 plus tax, it does get you 2% on everything that you purchase. I personally have the executive membership because I shop at Costco very often. We often give parties and all type of things and you could definitely uh, buy a lot of 
items for parties because it's in bulk, obviously. Um, so yeah, the executive membership gets you 2%. We usually, with just two of us and having like frequent barbecues and parties and stuff, we usually average a 2% check of around $140. So it's like a $20 surplus above the membership price but if you think about it that means you're getting your membership for free along with one of these great items per year just you just want to be able to break even if you're breaking even every year then that's still a plus because then your membership is free um the membership comes right before your renewal every year and you're able to either use it towards the renewal or just cash it out or use it towards items in the store. It's really up to you. So yeah, that's probably the breakdown of the Costco membership. I feel like that's a little bit of important information. Um, so now we're going to get into the items that I purchased today. So we're going to go through a little bit of produce. Now I should say I am kind of, uh, these are items that are going to be a little bit on the healthier side. Costco does definitely have a great range of items that aren't as health conscious. Um, they have a lot of pre-prepared things like, um, they have like breakfast sandwiches and um, different meals. Um, I know they carry now Kevin's, I believe it's called. It's like a paleo keto option where they have like um, Thai curry chicken. Um, usually, even though these are prepared mares, they're always on the healthier side. So it's definitely something to, um, think about when you're shopping in Costco. They usually always carry really high quality items. So the first item that I'm going to start with is, oh, and before I even show you the item, I want to explain to you, when you're in Costco and you're shopping, if you ever see the Kirkland brand, that is the Costco brand of items. Now it is rumored that Costco takes these high-end products um i know on tiktok it was said that the lululemon leggings costco had purchased them in bulk and put the kirkland brand on them and sold them at a very reduced price i'm not really sure how true that is like i said i worked at costco for years i have family that worked at costco for years my father was a store manager like i don't i've never heard of that but all in all kirkland items are always top 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 quality so the first item I'm going to show you is something that I use often when I'm cooking kind of healthy. It is the Kirkland Pink Sa Salmon and it is boneless and skinless. So this is a great option if you want to make like a pasta salad. Um, it's definitely a good uh, substitute. I don't really eat these type of things so I'm kind of like, like venturing out of my comfort zone. But I guess it's a good substitute for tuna if you want to just eat salmon instead of tuna. Some people don't like tuna. Um, I personally use it to make salmon cakes, which is one of my father's specialties and it's something that I really like to make um, because it reminds me of him. Um, super great product. I believe it comes five or six of these. They do are, they are like $16, but again, high quality salmon and it's boneless and it's skinless. You don't have to do anything but literally just hit it with the fork. It breaks apart beautifully. It's always fresh. It comes out like of the can pink. Ain't no gray stuff over here. Kirkland um, canned salmon is definitely top level. Also, if you like canned chicken, their canned, Kirkland canned chicken is very good. Also, my family does use that. Like I said, I don't because I'm not really a canned chicken tuna type person, but definitely another good option. So now we're going to get into some produce items. And I'm going to try to talk a little bit slowly because I'm talking so fast that I'm making myself out of breath. And unfortunately... I did have the virus and it caused me to be a little bit more winded than usual. So I'm going to try to talk a little bit slower. So the next item that I'm going to talk about is this corn. Super great buy. It always is in an eight pack. It's like six to $7. There's really not much to say about that, but it's just to show you the range of Costco produce that is available. Um, this is another Costco produce item. Now, if you are used to buying tricolored peppers, then you know this is a super great buy because it's only $6. In the regular store, you only get three of these and it's about six to $7. So this is another great buy. Um, I know you're saying there's so many peppers in here. For one person, it's too much. You could always cut them up and freeze them. Um, it's a really great option to have in your fridge because it'll help you eat more vegetables if you have this many you just want to incorporate them with like a sauteed chicken or 
anything. Like you just could let your uh, imagination run wild with that. So the next item that I want to talk about is the Kirkland brand alkaline water. It is a pH of 9.5. Now, which what makes this an exceptional buy is the fact that you get 18 of these one liter bottles for $10 literally you this is probably the best buy in my opinion because alkaline water is super duper expensive there's not much really much else i could say about this like if you do prefer to drink only alkaline water super great option from costco um so the next thing that i want to talk about is this smart balance butter I do buy this in a two pack. Well, it only comes in a two pack and this retails for about $7. Now, which makes this so significant is that I buy this from the regular store for about four or $5, which is like no explanation needed. A lot of these items that I'm going to show you is like really literally no explanation needed. Like clear as day. Great option. Um, a lot of these things last a long time. Like, yeah. There's, there's no explanation needed. Um, the next item I'm going to show you is this Kirkland minced garlic, something that I buy all the time. Um, because I try to eat low sodium, this garlic is definitely great for cooking because it adds a lot of flavor. Um, this retails for $5. If you know in a regular food store, you're definitely going to get something for a half or a third of the size for probably the same price. Super high quality minced garlic. And it does have a shelf life of about a year once it's refrigerated. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is this organic baby spinach. And I'm bringing this up because I want to mention that Costco usually in their produce section has an organic and a non-organic option. This is the organic spinach. Um, this retails for $6. We already know one person can get through this in no time putting it in smoothies. It cooks down super duper like crazy so there's no real explanation needed for this item um the next thing that i'm going to talk about is this box of oat milk now i spend about five dollars for a regular size carton of oat milk this is six one liter oat milks for ten dollars like i said guys <laughs> no real explanation needed like super great buy these do have a shelf life out of the refrigerator for about a year these are not these do not have to be refrigerated unless they are opened so of course definitely one person two people can get through this oat milk in no time if it, this is your preferred option costco also does have an almond milk and a soy milk option and i think they are around the same price so that's good to keep in mind um some regular produce items, their bananas are always $1.29. Their pineapples are usually $2. Like these are items that obviously one person can use in no time. And it's a super great option. You just want to justify it in the fact that you're spending $50 a year. Yes. But if you're getting deals on these bulk items, or if you're getting items that really don't, they don't sell at regular food stores, then it's definitely worth it. Um, the next item that I always pick up is this Kirkland brand um, frozen shrimp. Frozen seafood can be very like taboo, like people really don't like it. A lot of people like fresh. I've never ever had an issue with this frozen shrimp. It does come in a couple of options. This is the 21 to 25 shrimp per pound option. I think there's like a, like you can get either larger shrimp where it'll tell you that it's less shrimp per pound or you can get smaller shrimp where it'll tell you it's more shrimp per pound i think there's a level above this and then there's a level below this it is raw it is peeled it is deveined even though i clean them again anyway so it comes ready to make i believe this retails for 15 dollars, which you cannot beat and this is two pounds worth of um frozen shrimp so definitely a really good item to have the next item I'm going to show you is the Costco farmed salmon. This is fresh salmon. It does not have any skin on it. Um, this is obviously a large piece of salmon for one person, but what I usually do is I cut it up into portions and then freeze it. Um, just for reference, this is a 2.33 pound piece of fat salmon and it only was $22. Super fresh. Costco has a really great selection of um, seafood, fresh seafood, fresh meats. Um, the Costco I was in today actually had oxtail. So depending on, just 
putting the, this back in the fridge, guys. Depending on where you are in the country, the Costco kind of tailors itself around the community. Um, there's another Costco that I go to that's in a heavily Spanish popular Spanish or Hispanic populated area. They have like Sasson. They have like all of these things that are tailored more towards Hispanic um, people. And I think that's really great. They really try to tailor their items to the community that's around them. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to think. I think those are all the Costco items that I wanted to mention that I purchased in person. I did pick up some like, they do have egg options. I'll show you them. This is the eggs. And how they come these are always their eggs are usually cage free they also have a free range option but they're like twice the price of these um this was 24 eggs for about three dollars and like i said they're cage free eggs um so they are a little bit better than the regular run-of-the-mill eggs um overall costco has just really really good items i know you guys were interested a lot of you guys were interested in items that were good for like small families or a person of one or a person of two um so now what we're going to do is go into the sit down portion where i'm going to insert some photos and explain to you the items that i did not purchase today but i feel like are really really good as far as having them for you know your household so let's get into that portion of the video okay guys so as you can see we're still in my kitchen but i've been out all day so i needed to kind of sit and explain these next few items to you guys so i'm going to be looking on my phone because i did take photos that i'm going to be inserting into the video so you guys can see exactly what i'm talking about so the first item that we are going to talk about is the charisma six piece sheet set now this is a sheet set that comes in uh it comes in it used to only come in queen and king it now comes in full and twin extra long i believe the full and twin extra long are ten dollars the queen is i believe fit it's actually on sale right now for 11.99 but the original price is 15 dollars. i don't know if i took a picture of the king size I did not take a picture of the king size, but I'm th I'm thinking it's probably around twenty dollars for the king size option. I know that for. Let me just see if I can see. So for the twin and full options, it only comes with two pillowcases, but for queen and king, it comes with four pillowcases, guys. When I tell you these sheets are really really great, um, if you're someone who likes to kind of use your sheets and throw them out like very often, I feel like these sheets are a very great option for you. The only thing is you definitely have to stay tuned. If you go to Costco, you always have to check it out because they always have different prints. I usually, when they have the white in stock, I usually like rack up because they're so inexpensive. Um, really great. They keep you super cool. Um, anyone I've ever put onto these sheets loves them. Charisma is a super great brand. I've been buying these sheets since I worked at Costco. Super amazing. And yeah, they're just great sheets. So, um, the Costco paper towels go for fourteen seventy nine. It's twelve rolls. Um, I think it says it's one hundred and forty sheets per roll. One hundred forty sheets per roll. They're very very thick. Um, they are plain white, so you don't have to worry about any designs if you don't like that. If you want it to be aesthetically pleasing. Um, overall, the Co the Kirkland brand paper towels, Kirkland brand. Um, Toilet paper are definitely good buys. I believe the Kirkland brand toilet paper retails for $17 and you get 30 rolls and there's 380 sheets per roll. Cannot beat it. Super plush, not cheapy cheapy, like super great buys. Like I don't buy Charmin. I don't buy, even though Costco does have those options, they're a lot more expensive. I don't buy Charmin. I don't buy, um, Bounty? Yeah, I can't even remember the name, guys, because I, I haven't bought it in so long. We only buy our paper towels and um, toilet paper from Costco, Kirkland brand only. Did see, like, they have a lot of different products. They have the Lysol, the huge Lysol bottle, only $9. Um, Fabuloso, I always buy my Fabuloso from there. It's $8, super, like, large bottle. If you go to Dollar Tree, any of that, you get nine of them. I don't even think it'll end up amounting to how much it's 210 ounces in this fabuloso bottle um the next thing is the kirkland dryer sheets super high quality like literally i feel like they i forget what the brand is bounce i feel like they have the bounce of dryer sheets and just put the kirkland brand on it and they put them together and you either choose one these are eight dollars for two boxes of the dryer sheets super great buy definitely should pick those up the kirkland brand ultra soft um laundry fabric softener sorry 
$8.99, again, super great buy, smells amazing, definitely can compare it to um, Downy. There's like, you just don't, there is, you're not losing anything. There's nothing that you're losing when you're getting the Kirkland brand. They are literally either taking the higher end stuff and putting their name on it or like, I don't know, got somebody in a lab somewhere just making it like just as high quality. Um, today they did have Gain, which was on sale for $15. And it was the large bottle, which is 146 loads. Amazing, amazing, amazing deal. For in Costco, you can always find great um, laundry detergent, fabric softener, um, dishwasher tablets, like you could always find a sale on something for sure. I usually buy this OxyClean Max. It is good for 195 loads, only $13 guys. Like when you go into a regular food store, you see these sizes and you're like, yeah, this is the big bottle of Gain or Tide or whatever it is. You don't realize until you go to Costco that it's really not the large size. Like these are the large sizes and you are like getting, you are getting like so much like these items alone these clean items alone are completely worth you getting a membership um here's the almond milk that i was talking about um super great buy 7.99 the same six count a liter per little carton. They're very, uh, they're very uh, space saving too. They're not very large cartons. So that's another thing. You store them warm, you only take one out when you need it and it's just a super great buy because you don't have to keep them all in the refrigerator. Um, now the Kirkland Signature Chicken Wings, they are $25. But if you're someone like me, I try to only buy high quality meat. So that means when I go and buy my wings, I don't want to see any feathers, any like extra stuff, any dark spot. Like I don't want to see none of it. I just want super great high quality chicken. This is a great option. It's 10 pounds of chicken wings for $25. If you're one person, obviously you can throw them out, season them and put them in the freezer. Um, it'll last you a good amount of time. $25 is not bad because I just bought like a package this big and it was $8. So $25 for 10 pounds of chicken is I'd say pretty good and it's great for a party. Just an honorable mention, they had like a two pack of Calvin Klein women's um, sweatpants for $20, that's $10 each. Now if you, I probably will do another video on this cause it's pretty much focused on like the regular Costco items, but Costco has bomb like workout clothes, leggings. Um, they have good pajamas sometimes. They carry brands like Lucky Brand. Um, they have Lucky Brand. Sometimes they have Tommy Hilfiger. I've seen Costco warehouses have Polo, um, Puma, Adidas. Like, do not sleep on the Costco clothing section. Super great quality clothes. Um, they come in a good array of sizes, so it's not like it's all small sizes. They always have options for, like, kids. In the wintertime, they always have really great jackets. Um, don't sleep on the Costco... Uh, clothing section. Maybe we'll do a, another video just particularly aimed towards the Costco clothing section. Um, the roses and flowers as a whole. The roses in particular, you usually get two dozen premium roses. I mean, like these are not small roses. You get two dozen roses for $18.89. You literally cannot beat that. What I usually do is I buy the two dozen roses and then I find, buy like a filler to make it really full. Um, but the roses are a super great buy. So I just wanted to tell you about those. You can get the like a mixed floral bouquet for $15. Um, something that I don't feel like it's talked about enough is sanitary napkins from Costco. I always buy mine from here. They retail for $13.99 and you get 76 of them. It's two 38 packs. Now we already know that you go into Walgreens and a 38 pack is usually probably, I don't know. It might, be, I don't even know, like $8. Either way, this is a super great buy. They have overnight, they have regular, they have tampons. They have tampons if you need them. Um, and then the last thing that I wanna mention to you guys is that I don't wanna make this video too long. I know it's been like a vlog, plus a sit down, plus a stand up, plus this, plus that, is the Costco gas. If there's anything 
that you can take away from this video is the fact that Costco gas is definitely one of the cheapest gas options around. They make sure to um, keep it at a lower price because if they can get you in that parking lot to get gas, you're more than likely to go into the store and pick something up. Um, so just for reference, I believe at the time that I took these photos, I was paying about $3.50 for premium gas and at Costco it was $3.22. So you're saving about 25 cents per gallon, which we all know adds up like quickly. Um, so yeah, it's very high quality gas. Uh, there's just like no explaining it. I feel like a lot of the stuff I said in this video is kind of like self-explanatory and it's either you get it or you don't, but most people should get it and understand it. These items are really, really high quality, like I said, and really, really um, items that will work for a person who's living alone, a person who's living with a spouse, or a person who has a large family. Like these are items that can definitely run. I can go on and on. It's terrible. I worked there four years. I know all there is to know about Costco products. I know when they're getting the furniture and I know like when the costumes are coming out, when the, um, when the Christmas stuff is coming out, like I do hope that you guys actually like this video because if you did like this video, then I can try to give you guys like different kind of videos like the Costco clothing or um, tips and tricks about their shopping. Yeah, so pretty much that was all that I have for you guys for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, do not forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and turn on that bell notification because I definitely will be uploading videos something like this i really hope that you guys can give me some feedback on this video in particular so that i do know if you like this type of content if you do want to see more things like this because i like i said i'm like a costco as expert when i stopped working there i used to be like yeah do we have this like uh, we meaning like i felt like i still work there like it's just once you work there it's like running through the blood like you're always working there. So like I said, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this video, hanging out with me today. I really, really hope you enjoyed how I put this video together. And like I said, like uh, the video, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you like this type of content and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.